Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasa with thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. Your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Reach out to me directly, tmasa with thewatchbox.com. Today, we are discussing a model that was launched in 2019 and built in 800 copies for its first model year. This is the Panerai Luminor Submersible Chrono Guillaume Neri, the PAM 982. 47 millimeters in grade 5 titanium, it is a big watch. 19 millimeters thick, it stands proud of the wrist. And 56.7 millimeters lug to lug with a 26 millimeter spacing between the lugs means that it is an imposing wrist presence. Named after the record setting free diver, the watch commemorates on its reverse side his 126 meter submergence and recovery without oxygen. This sounds absolutely horrendous. Fortunately, the watch itself looks gorgeous. As you can see, it sits on my wrist immense. 16 centimeters circumference is my wrist. And I'll be honest, if you want this thing to look even reasonably proportional, your wrist needs to be bigger than mine, probably 17 or 18 centimeters. But shock, it does sit comfortable. In titanium, it's lighter than it looks, and the lugs are there to drape the strap around the wrist, not to fight the wrist. So this actually fits secure. And if you have a wrist my size, yes, you can wear this comfortably. Now taking a quick look, the strap is a Panerai a bellows style, natural vulcanized rubber, dark blue, sort of cobalt blue, frosted finish, and as you can see, slightly evacuated underside. The strap made in Italy, of course, the ancestral home of Panerai, is perfectly keeping in character with the model, which references Panerai history, but is probably one of the more modern design efforts in the catalog. A simple titanium trapezoidal pin buckle for quick adjustments, and then you can see there's a quick release system. There is a spring-loaded plunger that you push down, and then you simply push the bar through and it releases the strap. It's more secure than spring bars, and it prevents you from testing your luck with a screwdriver against the lug profile, unlike previous Panera watches. So this is an upscale quick-release system. Of course, you have the image of Guillaume Neri, and he's diving into the depths down to over 300 feet, again, down and up without any supplementary oxygen. That truly sounds like an awful trial. Fortunately, the watch is a breath of fresh air. It's colorful, it's fun, and unlike a lot of Panerai watches, it doesn't seem to take itself too seriously. When you wear this watch, you're not pretending to be a combat commando. You're just having a good time with a colorful, luxury product, and it is a fun watch. As you can see, mostly brushed grade 5 titanium, which is great because the grade 5 stuff is hard to scratch. The bezel itself has a polished outer face and a very sharp outer knurling that makes it easy to grip even if your hands might be wet, sweaty, or gloved. There's a ceramic insert, which is great because it probably will be the first thing to hit an obstruction, and the ceramic is very hard to scratch. It will act as a heat shield for your watch. As ever, we've got the locking lever system, the device protecting the crown, conceived in the 40s, implemented in the 50s, patented by Panerai, and their alternative to the screw-down Rolex-style crown. Now, what it does is it takes this lever, which you'll note has a little bearing in it called the runner, and it compresses the crown. There is no screwing in or out, so you don't wear out the crown seals. You merely decompress and compress them, so it extends the seal life at the crown stem. Uh, taking a quick look at how it works, once you open up the lever, you're able to wind the watch, you're able to uh, pull the crown out, and set the watch. You note that I'm able to set the hour independently of everything else. The chrono keeps running. The time, the minutes and seconds, all of that remains consistent. I don't actually interrupt any of that. So this is ideal if you are traveling to French Polynesia for a dive with Guillaume Neri. Now the timepiece also includes a zero reset hacking second system. So when I pull the crown out all the way, not only does it hack or stop the seconds, but it also zeroes the seconds hand. Now, the device protecting the crown also makes it hard to jump in the water with an unlocked crown because that's tough to miss. And it gives you all aspect protection that prevents the kind of direct blunt impact that can damage a traditional screw-down crown. Sapphire crystal, naturally, 300 meters water resistant, and a handsome, almost chiseled profile, sort of a pebbly grain to the dial. Lovely, unusual, and upscale. It also features applique metallic indices rather than traditional Panerai printed features or sandwich dial features, so it looks like a luxury watch. Of course, you have a chronograph at center, and it's a fascinating one because you have a central seconds hand, but then you also have a centrally mounted polished steel minutes hand. So a lot like an old Lemania 5100, you have that central minutes hand that traces 60 minutes rather than the conventional chronograph 30 minutes. Useful if, for example, you are timing a non- 
free dive. There is a hours register, and of course, all the hands, save the chrono functions on the dial, are loomed. Let's have a listen to this bezel, because I've often said that Panerai bezels sound and feel the best in the business. It is very chunky. It's a lot of fun to play with this bezel, and it is an absolute joy to hear it. You want the best in the business? In terms of absolute mechanical feel, you know, it's Panerai, it's Doxa, and then it's very few others. Inside the case, you have a manufacturer caliber 9100, bi-directional automatic winding, two mainspring barrels, three-day power reserve. It beats away at 28,800 vibrations per hour. It is a very tough free-sprung architecture. Of course, it has that zero reset stop seconds function and the time zone hour hand. And because it is a chronograph that pivots on 37 joules, uh, there are some chrono functions included. For example, you have a flyback functionality such that the minutes and the seconds hands zero and then restart with a single push of the trigger down at eight o'clock. Also, it is a vertical clutch and a column wheel system. So when you actually start the chronograph, there is absolutely no jump to the seconds hand. And because it's a vertical clutch, you can just leave the chronograph running with no additional wear and tear. If you prefer to just have your center seconds to correspond with your minutes and your hours as time of day, uh, guess what? There's nothing wrong with just leaving that chrono running because of the vertical clutch. Also, because of the column wheel, the traditional way of making a chronograph, there's a nice positive and crisp feel to the chronograph pusher. And by the way, both of the crowns for the chronograph functions are screw down. This is a fun watch. Big, fun, and colorful. And again, from a brand that often takes it too seriously, you have a watch that resolutely does not. Reach out to Team also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details. And we're back with the PAM982. Note that the minute hand and the bezel pearl are blue to differentiate them and allow quick distinction of time elapsed while submerged.